Assalamu alaikum. It's Ramadan, again. But have we changed our character? Many Ramadans passed, but did we better ourselves? We can't let this Ramadan fly without taking full advantage of it. Narrated Abu Hurairah radiallahu anh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, Allah said, All the deeds of Adam's son are for them, except fasting, for which it is for me and I will give the reward for it. The first part of the hadith tells us that fasting has something very special about it. Imam al-Bukhari radiallahu anh mentions in a narration that every single good deed comes with ten that are like it up to seven hundred times except for fasting. Because nobody knows whether you are fasting except for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can say I'm fasting, but nobody knows that you haven't snuck somewhere to drink some water or to eat something except Allah. And because of that extreme sincerity in fasting, it doesn't have the same reward as the ones that come in 10 and up to 700. Fasting is something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared a special reward for. When Allah says He will reward you for it, it will be something unimaginable. If a king told you he will give you a surprise, you would imagine that surprise to be something really good and rich. You would expect something very expensive. When Allah, the King of all kings, says He has made a reward for fasting, how would you think the reward for it would be? So what should we take away? We have to realize the virtue of fasting. And we should have a desire for a reward from Allah, knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to reward us for our fasting in a way that we are not rewarded for any other good deed. And Allah knows best. Assalamu alaikum and see you in my next hadith, inshaAllah.